sorry about that, just replying to a comment, uh, because the most recent person to ask what if Deku was Hulk asked me yesterday when of recording this, which I think right now, that, that right there is, I think, part two, which for some reason is going to take forever. So, I'm going to record as many videos as I can for today, upload a bunch at night, which is probably going to fry my phone, which I upload on, and record on, because I don't feel like getting any, I don't feel like getting my laptop or anything else to record on. So, in the last part, if I remember correctly, because it's been a couple hours, Deku just finished the, what's it called? He just finished the entrance exam. Now we're skipping to the first day of school. And since Deku lives basically at the UA, because I believe in the last part I said that Deku... Hold on. I want to read that. Okay, uh, the person who wanted me to do this, like yesterday that I said, just replied back saying, uh, uh, basically, they've been waiting for God knows how long. So, like I said, I have a plan to try and record, like I said, more videos a day, because school's gonna be starting, and my plan to, re like, upload a bunch of videos is just put out as many videos, okay, I know who that was. So, I was planning on putting out as many videos, basically as private because I believe if you put out a video in private, no one can see it but you. Because I've had videos that are basically in private that don't show up on upload. So yeah. Basically, while I sleep, videos upload. But I gotta make sure to put videos up. So I'll try and put up at least one to two videos in the morning before school. And, at, and like another one to two videos after school. Or I might just go ham. I upload as many times as I can a day. But I gotta do it to where I don't run out of videos on the first day. Because I could stop, I could basically stop uploading today. And when school officially starts, like in two weeks. Because it technically starts, uh, for me, it technically starts uh, next week. But next week is tomorrow. Like ne next week starts tomorrow for me. So in technically two weeks-ish. School officially starts, like the first full week of school starts. So I could stop recording now and just get a bunch of videos in, in one day to spam as many videos as possible. Anyway, let me get through this. It's the first day of school. Deku and his mom technically live on campus, as I believe I explained in the last part. So, in this, Deku, basically, what is it? In this, Deku, his mom... Like, he tells her goodbye, he'll see her later, and Deku still does his normal training every single day. Like, he tries to do more meditation, but he does make sure to do his physical and, uh, what is it, his physical and fighting or combat training. Like, if you don't know, I normally record outside because, well, less distractions. I just saw a person jogging from across, basically... Which would probably be at least a hundred, probably even, a, probably between a hundred to two hundred feet. And they had their phone on with a bright blue light just shining. And they were just jogging. Very distracting. Especially since I'm looking that direction. Anyway. I'll try and like, for now on, I'm gonna try to like give you just straight videos. I might blabber on, but that's just how it's gonna be for a while. Because, well, this is... I think it's the second week. It might have already started, but the second week of my channel is almost done. And I've tried to do, like, little things since I've already gotten past 200 subscribers. I've tried to, at, like, ask the people that are subscribed to, like, give me questions, like a Q&A. But the video that I put that on, like, uh, I think it was called Some Stuff. Not a lot of people clicked on it when I last saw it. So, yeah. So anyway, for this, he goes to school, and he gets there pretty early. He has a sleeping bag. He sleeps basically just on a sleeping bag in his chair. So he's like a, just this giant, 
It's just this giant, I'd say orange, basically. This giant orange uh, thing just sitting in a, basically sitting in a sleep, uh, in a chair or a desk. And he's just sitting there with the pillow and his face is down. And he hears someone walk in and he looks up. And it's to the point that, let's say, he was... He was just laying there. He wasn't even sleeping. He was just laying there trying to sleep, but he couldn't. Because the way he was sitting wasn't comfortable whatsoever. It actually quite... It made him a bit angry because uh, he wasn't comfortable. He kept trying to sleep. He couldn't. And it started to hurt. So he got just a bit angry. So he turned a bit green. And that made him look even weirder. And let, I, let's say Momo was the first one to get to school. I think she must was the first one to get to school. But she... Uh, but in this deck it was... And she gets there second, and she sees this giant green thing and starts screaming. Deck is annoyed by this, and he just puts his head back down. And let's say Aizawa is even woken up by this, and he's running around so much screaming, but it's just too lazy to even get up. We skip to the beginning of class, and people are wondering why there's that just person just sleeping in a, basically a sleeping bag just right there. This is when Deku, because everyone's talking, is annoyed. He's just annoyed. So he decides to get up. And no, I will not make Deku a female. So anyway, uh, Deku just gets up. He folds up his sleeping bag. And let's say since uh, it's basically sort of like the one Deku does have, like his clothes, how they're all stretchy. It's sort of like that. And... It's super foldable. So, it's made of really foldable material. So, Deku's just rolling it up. Or, not rolling up. He's folding it, and he's folding it s into such a small shape and just puts it in his backpack. And he's in his school uniform. And this is when, let's say, Ida walks up to him and says, Why were you in that sleeping bag? Deku says he just got here really early and was just tired. But he just carries that with him so he can just basically sleep wherever. Because since he has to get to UA early anyway, every day. And he just sits down with his head down. And this is the point where Oraka comes in and sees Deku. And she remembers him being the boy that saved her. Being a lot bigger and a lot greener. But she can definitely remember the hair, because the hair's green, and the person who basically transformed from that green thing into a small thing. The big, giant green thing into a small, uh, well, lesser buffer, non-All Might-like form. And it's at this point that, what is it? It's at this point that she comes up to Deku and says, My name is Oraka Achako. Thank you for saving me the other day. Deku says, It wasn't that. He says, It's no problem. You're welcome. It wasn't really that hard to do. And this is when, uh, what is it? this is when I'd say, she asks for Deku's name, and he says his name is Izuku Midoriya. And Bakugo and Ida, they still have their little fighting experience, but since Deku uh, like un like got out of his sleeping bag, they stopped because Ida's like, that's the guy who, he basically says, that's the really strong kid. Like, basically saying that he defeated the zero-pointer with one hit. Basically saying... I don't even know if that was his full power, because he walked out of the arena with, like, no damage. No, nothing, he said. So, that's what he said, like, mumbling, sort of. Sort of like what Deku does. Not even thinking it. And when Deku says his name is Izuku Midoriya, this is when Bakugo gets scared. And Deku hasn't even looked over at Bakugo. Bakugo is the one thing that can make Deku angry. And, uh, so Bakugo starts doing the best he can to, make, to not stand out to Deku. 
he's doing the best he can not to make him angry. Because he hasn't seen Deku in over five years. He's thinking there, there, he has to get stronger. That was the first time he ever used his quirk. And it was so strong. At this point, he could probably control it. He'd probably kill me if he sees me. That's what he's thinking. So, he does his best not to. Also, I'm going to try and like record these all in one go. At least 15 minutes. Because I want to... I keep making the videos super long. But that's because I keep babbling. So, let's get on with the story. So, when Aizawa comes in, the, everyone's like, who is this guy? He looks like he hasn't slept in forever. He looks like he died and came back to life, but didn't put any makeup on, basically, to make him look like he was more alive. Deku says, it's been a while, Aizawa. And, basically, let's say Aizawa was on a mission, so he was gone for, let's say, a while. Basically, he was just going and trying to dig up information and basically just doing hero work and he's been gone for a while and since the new class and they gave Aizawa this mission because he can easily basically just sneak around because he looks like a normal person he just puts on a hoodie he has a scarf with him he can cancel out people's quirks except mutation quirks I yeah except mutation quirks I believe because, well, they're a mutation. You can't really make a mutation go away. So, for, well, for, De uh, for everyone's wondering, how does he know who that is? He's a, been a while too, Medora. It seems that you decided to go with the entrance exam instead of the recommendation, saying that, you were getting recommended by All Might. Why didn't you take the recommendation? You could have gotten in without even trying. Bakugo hears this and he's angry because Deku this entire time has been with All Might. Probably because they knew, they didn't want Deku to turn into a villain. But at this point, he could, he's a villain either way, he's thinking. He turned into that beast. He destroyed part of the city, he's thinking. So he is a villain. But then he's angry because... He's been with All Might. Everyone's wondering, wait, he's been with All Might? He was getting recommended to the to UA by All Might? This is when Deku just says, yeah. But I wanted to prove that I earned my way into UA. I didn't want to be handed everything. I've been training hard to learn how to use my quirk. And I wanted to prove that I can use my quirk without destroying a big chunk of the city. And losing control. Aizawa says, yeah, it'd be good if you didn't do that again. So we skip to the voice locker room. Everyone's staring at Deku because he's super ripped. He's not muscular like All Might. He's, he's like a mixture, like I said, between... He's a mixture between... Okay, so I do know that now. In my other video, I didn't know if Deku had a healing factor or not. He does. He does have a healing factor. Because of uh, the Hulk power. So if he doesn't, he does, I don't know. I'm just going to say he does because the guy said he does. So, Deku does have a healing factor. Honestly, he just heals. He just heals a lot more than people. He has very strong defense. He heals a lot quicker than people if he does get hurt. But when he does get hurt, it hurts a lot. Except his, basically his normal body. He feels pain in his normal body. But his Hulk form, he doesn't really feel pain in that because he's so strong. And like I said, all the boys are staring at him because he's so ripped. This is when Kurishima asks what type of quirk Deku has because he is so ripped. Does he have his, does his quirk have to do something with his body? Or is he just muscular because his quirk doesn't, isn't really a fighting quirk? But he uh, built muscle so he can fight. Deku just says that his quirk builds more muscle over time. Like, he, he has a transformation quirk that he transfers, transform, he transforms into this, uh, this, like, bulky, super muscular person. But if someone had a cancel quirk, like a cancellation quirk, and they could just cancel my quirk, the transformation quirk, he says that 
uh, I need to be able to fight without my quirk, so I've been taking uh, fighting classes and working out to human and pushing my body to human, superhuman uh, length or feats, basically. So we skipped to the test because this is getting too long. So, okay, I got it. So anyway, those are like the only two people that have been commenting, commenting on this video or the video that I just uploaded. How long ago is this? That's gonna take forever, okay. So anyway, uh, like Deku, since he got first, he's the first one to go. Or since he got first place, he gets to go throw the ball first. And Deku's wondering, should he transform? Should he not transform? He's wondering that while he's throwing the ball in the air, like, repeatedly. Aizawa just tells him to transform. There's no point in not using your quirk. You've trained so hard to control it. Just use it already. Deku says, fine. Aizawa says, don't even hold back. Go use as much power as you can at this point. And Deku goes to his limit. His limit is enough to just... I'd say he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the All Might. But he can't stay at the limit for long. Like, he can't stay at that limit for long. Because he'll either lose control. Or he'll just, like, pass out. Because it takes a lot of energy and concentration to do it. So he starts... And his suit isn't the normal... Like, uh, it's not the normal... Uh, UA uniform and people are noticing this and they're wondering why his suit is different Is it because he's special and they and they and they're thinking he does have some sort of connection to All Might And Todoroki's thinking he does have a connection to All Might. He was going to be recommended by All Might Could it be All Might's son? Because he had to have a powerful he has a powerful quirk apparently that he can't that he wasn't able to control uh, He's thinking he must be All Might's son What's his quirk? Is his quirk the same as All Might's? What's going on? This is when Deku starts turning green. He's able to control his form to the point where he's able to transform into it at will. But he will start like turning green when he's angry. So that's like a signal to anyone who's nearby that he's angry. So he starts turning green, and everyone's wondering what's happening to his skin, why is he turning green, and he starts getting bigger, bulkier, beefier, getting more and more muscle on his body. And then they're thinking, his suit's gonna tear because of how big he is, and then he just keeps stretching and stretching. His suit just stretches. And then, let's say that Ida says, that's why his suit is different, because he needs a suit that can stretch so his clothes don't rip. Is all of his clothes like this? And then Deku gets in a throwing position. He's getting ready to throw the ball, and then he throws it as hard as he can. The moment the ball leaves his hand, he detransforms. Like, he starts shrinking. Because he can only be in that form for a split second. And the ball... So it's he can, in that form, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with All Might. I'd say he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with All Might in his prime, so he's a bit stronger than All Might. So I'll say he can do about 2,000 meters. Okay. So, I've been told that he does have regeneration. Apparently super regeneration. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep getting comments all night about that. Well, phone's gonna be away from me tonight so I can sleep somewhat. So, this video is getting way too long. So Deku throws it. He gets about 2,000, 2,573 meters or kilometers. I should really check uh, what uh, what form of measurement they use for distance. So then it's the running. Deku, he just basically uses his superhuman strength his in his normal form to run as fast as he can. Which, let's say, is a bit faster than Ida. Actually, I think, I don't remember how fast he was for Ida, but let's say he gets there in one second flat because how fast he is. And some people are wondering, how did he do that? He doesn't have a speed quirk. He has that, basically, that transformation quirks that makes him super strong. And, and it's at this point 
that Kirishima remembers that Deku said he pushed his body to superhuman lengths so he can still fight without his quirk. And then he, and then he's, Kirishima's thinking that Deku's really manly because of his quirk. He can turn, like he built a lot of muscle to fight with it. And it's really powerful, but he can't control it that much. But so he doesn't have to rely on his quirk that much if he needs, if he fights someone that can cancel quirks. He built muscle on his regular body to superhuman strengths, so he can fight. Think, and this is when Kirishima is thinking he should be friends with Deku because how manly he is. Because he sees Deku as a man, not as a student, not as someone who, like, not as a, not as a teenager. He sees Deku as a grown man, and Deku sort of looks like one too. And for the jump or for the grip, I'm gonna say Deku somewhat transforms like he goes into his transformation just a bit just enough to where he gets first place on the grip test so let's say the grip test says he he can grip about i don't know what the max limit is let's say he just breaks it he does it slowly and slowly and slowly and then it just breaks because how much t tension is on it and it's at this point that wait it's at this point that Bakugou is getting really angry. He's getting really angry. Because Deku's been training with All Might. The number one hero. So he's thinking that Deku. Has been training with All Might this entire time. So he can become the number one hero. Because he has such a powerful quirk. And this is when Todoroki's thinking. He is. His quirk is very similar to All Might's. But then again. It has so many differences. It's just They are both really really beefed up. Thus he's thinking. They are very, very strong, but he, he says this guy is green, All Might's not green, he says All Might could have mastered his quirk to where his skin color doesn't change, and this guy could just not have mastered his quirk, or whatever. So it's at this point, when Deku gets to the jump, he basically turns into his Hulk form, the form that he can control with ease, and just jumps, leaving a small crater on the ground. And he jumps, and when he lands, he's gone. Like, he's out of the little testing area where they were. Deku's basically not even in the testing area anymore. So he jumped, and he left. And Deku has to jump back in. Aizawa asks where Deku landed. He just says, uh, near the entrance. So let's say that the Deku, when he jumped, was facing near the entrance. And he basically did all that. Deku with the side to side, he just did regular side to side with his body. So overall, Deku got first. He didn't beat Infinity. Because he can't beat Infinity, you can only tie with it. So I'm going to leave it off here because this video is way too long. Goodbye. Next part in a couple seconds. Go.